Welcome back to Deserts of Garak. Um, today I've got a nice little replay here from Tarn Armor and I as we were practicing for the 2v2 league that's coming up. Now one of my favorite things about DOK, it's like one of the small little details that I love, is that when you play as random, it just says you're playing as random. It doesn't actually tell people what faction you are. Um, and I always thought, like, wouldn't that be so cool if there was someone who just in tournaments always played as random. So his opponent had to, like, find out who he was before he could even, like, decide what strategy he was going to use, you know what I mean? So... We're going to try just that Tarn Armor and I, and of course, um, it is quite nice because he is actually my brother, you know, so, um, in case you didn't know this already, it's very easy for us to have, like, coordination and stuff. Alright, it's supposed to be group two, you're group three. Um, we were, like, having a Skype call at the time, so we definitely knew what each other were doing. Um, so I can walk through kind of our idea of, like, what we were planning as we came into this game, um, and we can see how well it worked. This was, uh, we, we were playing these games as some um, practice for the um, 2v2 league that's coming. We should be playing our first match, I think, on Friday. Um, that's going to be really exciting. Big shout out to Frosty Teeth for setting that up, by the way. Um, but my thought here sending this probe out was, we know that Peter is on the team, and Peter just assault ship rushes, like, literally every single game. So why don't we try to figure out where he is? <laughs> I was like, okay, he's on the right there. So... My idea was that we probably ought to attack Peter first of all. I'm gonna do an LAV rush, and uh, my ally Tarn Armor is gonna do, uh, I believe, a railgun rush. This production cruiser getting some damage down on the probe, but it is narrowly going to escape there. I still don't understand how Discara is so good at this kind of stuff, but um, I think Peter is trying to hunt down the probe with this production cruiser, which is a good idea. If you can try that, you might as well. Um, obviously having the production cruiser near to the economy is not going to help Peter at all in, in this case, and so he might as well be doing that, right? We've got some sand skimmers out already for Tarn Armor, and my LAVs are about to start hitting the field. As you can see, I'm producing them at the moment. Um, Tarn Armor also with a couple blast drones. He's going to see if he can do some damage immediately on the economy. As for the other team, what are they going for? Early refinery mode um, from Empty Soul. And Sand Skimmer Fabrication just now finishing for Peter, so they're definitely not ready for this kind of aggression, but that might not be an issue. I'd love to see Peter obviously powering up his carrier there. One Blast Drone is going to hit these Salvagers, and the idea is not to kill all of them, because you can't obviously with one Blast Drone, but since they're all so damaged, maybe you can get a couple of them. And indeed, two of them are going to go down there. There is a Blast Drone here for Serum, though. Or, Serum, that's right. That's not correct. For Empty Soul. Who's actually usually a Soban player, by the way, so it's interesting to see him playing as Khan F here. Peter's carrier is still not powered up, and that would obviously make a big difference, so it'd be good to see that come out from him. I do like uh, Power Reserve 1 being researched, though. That's obviously a good choice. Um, and here I am, with my base runner, going to set down a turret. That turret actually is kind of a questionable thing that I've done here, because, I mean, like, there's a Khan F player, you can just obviously missile it out, but it does give us some control of this field right here. However, a blast drone is going to come up and just instantly take it down there. And definitely the idea was that, well, maybe I can get these salvagers as they're on the way back to the carrier, but that did not work. So, <laughs> good play from Empty Soul there, keeping that alive. Has another blast drone ready, by the way. Um, but yeah, the LAVs are in the field now. Doesn't look like they're going to get this. Well, they might get this. No, they're not going to get that salvager there, which is a little unfortunate. Um, Peter has Assault Ship Fabrication finished, so almost certainly we're going to see those coming out pretty much immediately, but um, Tarn Armor has now got Railgun Fabrication finished, and he's getting the armor upgrades already. So once he starts producing uh, Railguns over here, that's going to be an excellent counter to the Assault Ships. You see they're not being done just yet. Sand Skimmer coming out instead. Some AAVs coming out from my side. I've also gotten the uh, Carrier Production upgrade because I don't know how to play Coalitions. I don't know when I should be getting it. I don't know if that's good or not. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. But I do have five AAVs out on the field that are ready to engage. This force is coming over here on this side. There's a blast drone though. It's gonna trade one for one. So that's gonna be, that's a good move there by um, Empty Soul. Probably should use the smoke on the base right here, but it stops the um, stops the blast drone from getting in and maybe doing some big damage to these salvagers here. There's an assault ship coming up. But there's a turret set up already by this um, base runner here. So that assault ship should not be able to get too much done at the moment. There's also assault railguns ready to engage with a blast drone as well it should definitely be able to take it even the close range engagement but probably backing away is still a smart choice that's what he's going to do this is already going to just gets completely wrecked there probably did not realize that there was a turret set up 
And that should probably that should probably force the carrier to move from empty soul. Um, just the fact that there's a there's a turret here. You can see I smoke up the turrets that the um, arm, uh, the assault ships cannot do direct damage to it there. Once the smoke clears off, it's going to be able to shoot again. So pretty standard turret micro there. You're going to get those two assault ships cleaned out for me. And the sand skimmer's still doing tons of damage to Peter's economy here. So um, we were worried about an assault ship rush, and we definitely don't have to worry about it now. I'd say at this point that's obviously off the, off the table. Um, but that's exactly what we want to do. You should also notice, by the way, we accidentally didn't have the artifacts turned on, so... There's, there's none of those. Smoke comes out a bit late on the, a, uh, the AAVs right there. Um, and that smoke's quite awkward as it blocks the salvager that I was about to kill, so I'm not sure why I was doing that. But look at this, these two blast drones come in under cover of the smoke there. So some little coordination there is going to clear off those salvagers as well. And there we go, we've prompted Powers of One and the carrier begins to move forward. It's definitely going to be using its missiles to clear up this turret post, this anti-air turret post, which we put down because we thought maybe they would move into air to try to counter this. Those two should not be, um, they shouldn't be options at the moment, and we're feeling like we've done enough damage to our opponents that we can back out now. Actually, uh, Empty Soul has got quite a lot of economy going because he already has refinery mode, and I thought at the time that because we had gotten his carrier to leave, he did not have it on the main. I don't know why these assault ships are here. Uh, obviously, the carrier could have could have handled all of this and then not taken any losses, but, but that's all right. But yeah, I, I was thinking he was only on one base because the carrier had to move out, so that we would be ahead because I'm on two and turn arms on kind of one and a half. But it looks like we're actually a bit more even than I had thought. Um, but that's just fine. That's all we needed. You can see I have a second production cruiser coming out, so I'm going to get on to three base pretty soon. Right now, Tarn Armor has been sort of the, the big fighting force in our team so far. Now we're going to try to transition that to me. So now I'm going to be the big fighting force and he'll just kind of be on the side, just like I have been supporting his attack so far. You can see I really want to get this assault ship, but the hill is not my friend at the moment. I'm going to take a lot of damage as I'm on the way over here. Using the smoke to try to mitigate that. And I will get this assault ship, but take quite a lot of damage on the way. Um, the sand skimmers come in to do some good damage, and they almost get quite a lot. I mean, actually, they do clear out the rest of the sand skimmer, uh, the salvagers, but the blast drones from uh, Empty Soul just kind of took them all out. Uh, these two LVs gonna run in here. My hope was to get these two blast drones, and I do indeed. Um, so that's gonna be good for me. Empty Soul continuing to make blast drones. He really is committed to that. Now Peter's got two production cruisers still. Probably he ought to um, get refinery mode, but he usually doesn't do that. I was kind of banking off of this, honestly. So, although actually, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's only got one salvager remaining right now, so. Anyway, uh, refinery mode, I believe, yeah, has been finished for turn armor, so. I'm on three bases, turn armor is on uh, two, soon to be three. Um, and I'm getting some air units here. They should not be ready for an air transition. I should be able to pick off some production cruisers this way. Looking at things now, I wasn't thinking this way during the game, but Peter is like a non-entity at the moment. He's got one salvager, you know what I mean? So like, I'm not really worried about Peter at all. Really, we should now have been focusing on Empty Soul, trying to stop his third here. But uh, we, we did not do this, as you can see. He's getting the EMP rounds for the AP Railguns. I actually love that, um, and you'll see that they get used to... I, it was either in this game or the game that we played right before this, where Tarnumer and I lost, but... Um, they they actually got used to like very good effects, which I thought was pretty cool because EMP rounds usually not really used for much. Anyhow, I know that tactical bombers are very good for clearing out anti-air. They're very good for clearing out production cruisers. So I thought I'm gonna go for tactical bombers. You can see I'm I've already made one. I've got the third one on the way now. I have to be careful with these strike fighters, of course, because I could run into some anti-air. Um, look at this, by the way, three base runners. I, I don't know why he's got so many base runners here, but to each his own, I guess. This guy should really be running away now. See, he's beginning to take quite a lot. Oh, look at the blast drones! I didn't even notice. <laughs> Nicely done, Tarn Armor. I, I didn't realize he had done that in the game. Um, but yeah, so the, the strike fighters are able to dump out some damage and then run away. Um, Peter making some more military units, but they're going to get cleared out as well. We, we see some heavy railguns off of the distance with range calibration and everything. Um, and that's a very good move, by the way. When your opponent is using assault railguns, you should use uh, heavy railguns to counter them. 
But I thought, well, we can still close the distance using AAV smoke, but it didn't look like there was really anywhere that we were going to get, so I decided it was time to back away. Still gonna lose one unit there, though, as he does a sick drift into oblivion. But now there's three bombers on the field. And so I knew that this production cruiser was a very vulnerable target. I figured I could kill him. Um, and then maybe get something else on the side as well. Here come these bombers now. Gonna drop their payload on the production cruiser. And it goes down. This bomber still hasn't used its payload, so I'm gonna send him against the railguns here. And they both go down. And then the tactical bombers will return home. But this opens up a nice, a nice window that we can attack Peter with. There are five blast drones here, though. Like, like what the heck? <laughs> uh, that's so many blast drones. I'm just, we're not used to seeing that. Um, they're gonna mobilize here. And I was certainly worried when I saw that, but I do have an, an AAV, which is really good against blast drones because it also slows them down. They count as strike craft, so they get suppressed that way. So I didn't think that the blast drones would really be a problem, and I've also got, you know, five, no, six strike fighters here, so they can take out blast drones, obviously, but... Yeah, we're now just kind of prioritizing down Peter's carrier here. Doing good damage to it, but I take the strike fighters and switch them to targeting the blast drones here. Because I was worried they were going to get through and do damage to the railguns. If only I had bombers ready, bombers would obviously do really well against this. But the blast drones only get the assault railguns, which is not really the target here. And Peter's carrier will still go down. Excellent splitting there by Tarn Armor. As you can see, these are all in different locations. There's no way that the blast drones were going to be able to take all of these down. Um, <coughs> so that was well done by him. You know, he was researching railgun armor already, but now he's getting it again. I don't know. Maybe he cancelled it. <laughs> I did not catch that. Um, but yeah, so Peter's carrier is down, so now it's empty soul in a 2v1. Um, and it should be pretty easy for us to, uh, take this. You notice these, um, these salvagers here doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that's alright. So my carrier is just running straight in here. I'm going to see if I can um, do some damage, but I see heavy railguns. I know that that kind of carrier is surprisingly prickly against enemy carriers, so I'm going to back away from this, just launch some strike fighters instead. Um, now this is a bit unfortunate. I launched my bomber with my carrier in this orientation, and so he actually took a shot by the missile ship. But, but yeah, you can see Empty Soul is getting anti-air. Definitely the right choice here. Now we've got kind of like a missile war going on here as uh, Tarn Armor and Empty Soul are going to be trading missiles out, but... Um, like I was saying earlier, I am the main, like, damage force for my team, basically. And you can see I've chosen to do all the damage, basically, just through air units here. I'm gonna take a bomber and go after this, uh, missile ship. Because that always works, as you can see. It takes out a production cruiser as well for my troubles. Get one more missile ship right there. This one at very low health, but I don't think I've got anything that can, um, dive on top of it. So I'm gonna be taking quite a lot of damage. Tarn armor maybe should be targeting the, the air units for his opponent, but that's alright. Um, you can see my air units really got decimated there. We took out a production cruiser. Uh, it just looks like the end is nigh, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting battle cruiser fabrication. I feel like battle cruisers will finish this off pretty nicely. Um, powering up my carrier, getting ready to just kind of push in here, take out this production cruiser as well. Um, Tarnar's carrier takes a lot of damage there to the missile ships. I love missile ships. They're like my favorite unit because of that, that, you know, barrage that they can do there. It always does so much damage. So, I'm gonna back away here. I decide I've, I've done enough already, I can probably just head out now. Um, you can see Empty Soul's main has been ravaged, he's not really mining efficiently from the second right now, especially with, you know, rock, yeah. That's not mining efficiently when you die, I guess. <laughs> He'll be able to get that set up again really quickly, but we have taken him off of his main, so it's like, you know, six bases against two, right? And I don't really know what Peter's doing here, but I like how he's still moving around, you know? It may, it may be that he's, um planning on using like the debt packs from the salvagers to do something funny <laughs> that's what I would do if I was still in it at this point um right well blast blast drones are still being used by our opponents and so I think okay well gunships do pretty well against that so I start producing two gunships and then a whole bunch of LAVs you can see are on the queue afterwards I start also I had made you know some support cruisers here because you use support cruisers when your carrier is kind of your big frontline unit so I have them also mining here why not you know <laughs> might as well get even more money right I've got a ridiculous amount of money at this point, so there's no way I'm ever going to run out, really. Um, I launched my air units to their deaths for some reason here. Oh no, did I really tell the bomber to come in here? Because I feel like he's almost certainly just going to die. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but... 
but that's all right. Blast drones are still coming in here, but there's not really anything they can hit except for the salvagers, and it's unlikely they're ever going to get that far. Battlecruiser fabrication is finished for me now, so I can begin building those at my leisure. But yeah, I mean, these, these blast drones obviously are not going to get much out of them. Um, and you can see Tarn Armor is using uh, the healing on his carrier to try to get back in. Now he's powering up the missiles again. Um, getting ready to fire at those railguns that are attacking me. I'm putting my power in armor and I, I will get out of here. This is not really as dangerous as it looks really. Um, but I thought it was a cool idea to smoke up his carrier because he can still use the missiles against the railguns, but now he can't be hit by them. Um, but yeah. It was at about this time, by the way, we started experiencing a whole bunch of lag and so that made things a little bit difficult, but yeah. Turn over over here on this side with a huge force of assault railguns. I love this. Assault railguns not really ever used in the late game, but as you can see, they they're useful in the sense that they are kind of like a uh, they're kind of like a one like how do I say they they can handle any type of unit as long as they don't have you know opposition against them. So you can use them and just single-handedly just only using assault railguns take out you know an expansion like this. So I really like that move. And now empty soul is on no bases. Yeah, you can see heavy railguns here definitely doing their thing against these assault railguns. EMP rounds used against the uh, LAVs, so they're not going to be able to push in and do damage to those railguns. I love that touch. Um, but yeah. I just now have power reserve 5, and I see that empty soul has clumped up quite a lot, so here comes a cruise missile. And that takes out all the heavy railguns from his force. Those were the ones, of course, that couldn't run away fast enough. With only Assault Railguns left, it really should just be game at this point. Um, just a matter of time before we're able to push in there. Two battle cruisers getting produced right here. And I'm beginning to launch, I believe, the gunships against this force, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Turn Armor at this point was telling me, like, oh my gosh, the lag, I can't target his units with, like, my missiles. Like, he was unable to actually fire the cruise missiles where he wanted to because of the lag. Which I think that's just so funny. Also really annoying, but, but really funny, you know? Um, it's one strike fighter, that's going to turn the tide, right? The big thing is the uh, the gunships, which are going to be launched any minute now, here now, but Turn Armor's carrier is actually in some danger here, obviously, with these railguns getting produced on the side. His force is kind of behind out of the picture. Um, and they're also assault railguns, they need to move past this carrier, so Turn Armor is going to go down here, actually. Um, but that's... That's the lovely thing about about 2v2, right? It doesn't even matter. Because um, Turn Armor still has three bases up, so it, it doesn't even really matter that his carrier's gone down. Um, here comes my carrier. Got two battle cruisers getting produced at that point right there. Uh, there is a missile ship here, which I didn't see, so it took out um, both of the gunships. But they got good value taking out those railguns. And now we're just going to run in here and take out Antiso's carrier, so that will be the game. Really fun game all around. I feel bad for Peter, but like, he never seems to care. He's like the nicest person in the world, by the way. Like, have you ever played with Peter? He's just like, so chill, it's almost ridiculous. It's like he's, he's entered some kind of next level zen state. But anyway, he just got so attacked in the beginning. Like, everything that we had was focused on just like, make sure he can't do an assault ship rush. That's all we did. And so I feel kind of bad about that, but, and I feel really bad about the cruise missile too, you know, because I hate the cruise missiles so much. Um, and that was definitely like where it turned from most likely Empty Soul is going to lose to yeah he's already lost kind of you know what I mean really I think they should just remove Cruise Missiles entirely but tis no matter um, <laughs> it was still a really fun game and Empty Soul played incredibly well so really got handed to him for that I hope we see him in the uh, 2v2 league and I'm not sure if he's signed up for a team yet though so we might not be but um, he definitely knows what he's doing he's, he's a really fun 2v2 player and I would love to see him um, whoa, I'm taking screenshots. I'm just trying to hit backspace twice to reset to the camera, but... Anyway, I hope we see him in the 2v2 league, but, um, just thought I'd make this video because I don't really have anything else to do today, as far as, like, videos are concerned. Um, and I'll see you guys, uh, in the next video. Who knows what I'm gonna make that one on. But yeah.